Okay, so now that we're done with set, now we're going to write get. So I'm going to start by bringing up this address space here. I'll bring it up on the bottom this time with bolts and washers. And this to represent our hash method. So if we say get washers, it's going to go into the hash method and it's going to return the number four, just like it did in the set method. And then we can go to the address of four, search through these key value pairs at that address. And what we want to do when we look for washers is we want to return the number of washers that we have and return the number 50. But if we say something like get lumber and we put it through our hash method, it's going to return the number six. We go to the number six, lumber isn't there, and this will return undefined. So let's shrink that down here and start writing the code for this. So we're going to say get a particular key. And just like we did in the set method, we have to get something by the index. So we're going to have a variable called index, and we're going to use the hash method to determine what that index is going to be. So we pass that the key. It's going to calculate what the address is, and then we can go directly to that address and search for our key value pair. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is determine if there's anything at that address. So we'll say, if this dot data map at that particular index, so if we're talking about the index of four, there is something there. If we're talking about the index of six, like when we looked for lumber, there is not. If there is not, we're going to say return undefined. But if there is something there, that's where we're going to have to have a loop to loop through the key value pairs to look for the key. So for that, we're going to use a for loop. So this part right here, this length, is the length of this array here. So that has a length of two. It has two key value pairs in there. So as we're looping through, we're going to say if, and we'll walk through this line, the index is four. And i is going to be this first key value pair. And then zero is going to be bolts, the first value in that array. So say we're looking for washers, we'll have to do this again, where we say index is once again four, but i is going to be this next key value pair. Zero is going to be washers. Now it is equal to the key, and what we want to do is return the value that is associated with washers. So we just do it like this. And that is going to return that number 50. But if we go through this for loop and we don't find what we're looking for, then we are going to end up returning undefined. So that is all of the code for this method, and we are going to build this hash table just as you see it on the bottom here with bolts and washers. And then we will use the get method to get these items, but we'll also look for an item that's not in there, just like we did here. We're going to look for lumber. Okay, so let's flip over to DevTools. Okay, so there is our get method, and this is the hash table we just showed a second ago with bolts and washers. So I'm going to zoom out here. I'm going to come over here and run this. And this hash table here, I'll just open it. We have our data map. And you can see here at the index of four, we have two items. And at the index of four, we have two key value pairs, bolts and washers. Okay, so now I'm going to say get bolts, and that gives us a quantity of 1,400. Washers is 50. And then if we do lumber, we get undefined. So this works for all of our test cases here for bolts and washers and lumber. And that is our method for get.